previously on Real Chance of Love. What do you get when you put a brown chicken together with a brown cow? Man, I haven't seen a uh, classy do anything that made your boy laugh. Nothing that made me half laugh. You gotta stop stripping. No, hell no. And I plan going right back as soon as I go back home. I'm not dealing with the It's belittling to me. Get on in there. Ow! I want to know if you're a good kisser. Oh, God, I'm super excited that I'm getting closer to real. Oh, who was that sneaking in? Whatever, trick. The baker made you a cake. Who touched my cake? You wanna oh fight? No, no. She almost busted her wings up. And I was like, yo, 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 I did that, I did that. I gave him my heart and he's left it on the counter. If I go home tonight, I enjoy my time. So I'll see if I can get this chain. Real is a wonderful person, but he's not for me either. So flirty. You got you into some crazy trouble lately. If you can't deal with it or not handle it, then send me home. Baker, come get your chain. Chance chose me as top three for a reason. Hot Wings is safe. She's always gonna be the safe choice. Mama Cita adds spice, and here I am in the middle. <laughs> I can give you the best of both worlds. Is there a fruit diet you can be on? It'll make you fat. They usually it'll it'll you fat. Women that are pregnant, that's why they get so They don't care no more. Big. Because they think, you know, fruits are good, but it's like too much sugar for your body. Pocahontas, she comes off as she's so perfect. I feel she's hiding something and that she's really insincere. Seriously, have you always been this perfect? Who said I was perfect? This is your persona. You have this facade going. That's your opinion. Why do you have to take that and really attack me with that? That's just silly and I feel as though she needed to, to be mean to me and that is evil. I'm concerned about real. I want him to be happy. I want him to be with the woman that's best for him. I'm sure you are. Whether that's me or not, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like you put off this persona. Because I'm not girl. evil, I don't have to be evil like you. I'm evil? Yes, you're very mean to people. Just because I'm not fake about that don't make me evil, baby. I'm honest is what I am. She may have real fooled, but this facade she's keeping up is not working on me. I'm not done. But I'm done for now. I got it for that ass, baby. Go put on your flyest summertime gear, because today you're throwing a barbecue for some relatively important people. Love, real, and champ. Oh my god. So we read the mail, and it says we're going to be meeting relatively important people. And I'm like, relatively? What does this mean? Ladies! Mm, ladies, ladies, ladies. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Brought down the OGs of the Stagging Their Family. The creators of the grown and sexy men you see before your eyes, ladies. <laughs> I mean, my mom, now, Claudia, wait a minute, can I introduce? My sorry. Mom, Claudia, and my dad, Bob. Hi, girl. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. We thought it'd be a special treat, man, for us to introduce our parents to you. Could be a little bit too soon to meet the parents, but if that's what he wants, and we'll meet the family. They're gonna spend some time getting to know you ladies over the next couple of days, all right? Talking with you, sharing with you. Mm -hmm. They're here to help your boys to figure out which one of you beautiful women are best here for us in the long run. You want your parents to like your mate. Hell, if mom and dad like a woman, they will They'll tell, tell you flat them. out. What? Well, you know what? She got to go. So why don't we all go outside and eat some food and let's all get, get to know each other. By the father? Oh, yeah. Ladies. So today we got a barbecue going on. So my mom and dad can hang with the girls and get to know them a little better. 
Pocahontas. Pleasure. I feel like I'm at Chuck E. Cheese. You're too close, you dummy. You know, some of my mom and dad stepped in the yard, man. Seems like everybody's on their best behavior. Everybody's getting along great with my parents. Maybe it's the drinks. I hope they get into the bottom of these girls. Are you girls religious? I mean, are you Christians or? Well, the Dalai Lama said, you know, I don't practice religion. I don't have a religion. Right. My religion is kindness. I was like, yeah. oh, that's how I feel. I was like, oh. That was deep. I was like, okay, I'll stick to this. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm just hoping that I sound good saying whatever it is that I'm saying right now, because, you know, at least if I sound good, I think I'll make a good impression. <laughs> How did your parents raise you? Um, I'm an only child. I'm spoiled. Oh, yeah. Like B-R-A-T. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so spoiled. Well, you know, when you're a spoiled brat like that, you better marry a man that can take care of all your needs. I think Hot Wings looks like a big baby in front of Claudia. She can just keep yapping, yapping, yapping. Her voice is annoying. She looks stupid, and I just hope she digs her own grave. So what do you guys think of my two knuckleheads? They're individuals. <laughs> oh, God. Have they been acting like that? No, just since you guys came here. <laughs> really? <laughs> don't do that. Uh-uh. No, don't do that. To the top, go! <laughs> Real and Chance totally reverted back to childhood, having their parents around. I mean, they were running around the backyard like those schoolboys. Hey, I don't think you'll find another guy as spiritual as Ahmad. Ahmad is going to do something. He's going to have a lot of effect on the world. Okay, Honestly, I, I want. I wanted to come and meet him. Oh, you did. I was just praying for a godly man, and I knew what? how wonderful he was. Yeah. You know? And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to put this in God's uh -huh. hands. If it's his will, he'll uh -huh. open these doors for me. Pocahontas is always trying to come up with the perfect thing to say to impress Real's mom. I think it's all a bunch of BS. How many children do you want? I want a lot. Whatever you God, lot? you know, blesses okay. me with, then I'm happy. Oh, okay. For a woman who claims she's so spiritual and everything, I mean, you spent the night with this guy just like that. Mm -mm. Ladies, may I have everyone to the <laughs> forefront, please? Yes. Time to wrap this barbecue up. I think it was great, bro. Mom and dad enjoyed it themselves. The girls enjoyed themselves, so let's wrap it up. First of all, I just want to say thank you, ladies, for spending time with our parents and parents. Thank you for spending time, time with our ladies. our ladies. But this is only the beginning. Today, I will be taking my ladies on a date with my parents. <gasps> yeah, don't I'm forget, y'all going girls are going out tomorrow. I know. I'll be seeing my ladies later on, later on, later on. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Bye. Bye. Okay. I'm definitely looking forward to getting some one-on-one -on -one time with Claudia and call Pocahontas out on her I mean, she's fake. I know there's something there, and I'm gonna find out what it is. Coming up. Who's next? As far as Pocahontas, I just feel like an insincerity. She's too perfect. Pocahontas is pretending to be something she's not, and I'm sick of it. She's trying to hide something else. And later. Even though I'm drunk right now, I'm still not going to cause problems. The hot wings irritates the f out of me. Just oh. shut up! Oh. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, girls. How are you? It's time for us to go on our date with Rio to meet his parents. Let's go have a good time. I'm just excited. But, you know, it's kind of a buzzkill because Sassy's going too. Hi, doll. How are you? I want my girls to spend a little bit more time with mom and dad. So I'm taking Polka Doll and Sassy, and we're going to go hit some balls at the batting cage. Control the bat. All right. Let you go. Who's next? Ooh. Wow. That was impressive. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let me see a swing. All right. Hit the ball! Wow. Oh, you made it. Swing with force. My turn. Yeah. Oh. 
You gotta swing. I know that. Oh! Hey, man, mom's making me feel like I'm at Little League still. Fuck. Oh! oh. Strike one. Oh! oh. Strike two. Oh. oh! That was a good swing, though. Actually, it was quite annoying because I couldn't hit the ball like I wanted to. You know, I'm a little hungry. Oh! oh. I'm tired. Whoa! The, uh, didn't have good stage control. Right, we didn't have we good stage control. I mean, gosh, I was embarrassed. I need mean, oh, food. Eat I didn't really eat okay, today. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. So after we're done with the batting cages, man, we go down to a table set for the six of us. So what do you think about them? They're all so different, each one of them. They're so different and they're beautiful in their own special way. At least that's why I'm glad you guys are here, because your boy needs Need some help. help. <laughs> hey, uh, I would like to do a little something something. I would like for me, Sassy, and Poker to go play a little catch or something. Oh, yeah. And I want Doll to chill here with mom and dad so they can talk. I want to give my parents the chance to get to talk to these girls, kind of drill them in a way. Don't get cut these girls no slack, you know what I mean? But I, on, the, on the flip side of that, I want the girls to open up and be real with my parents. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. Hmm. So let me see where I can start. I can just tell you guys a little bit about my background. When it's my turn to talk to Real's parents alone, I'm feeling very positive and confident. His mother is just so spiritual and loving that I know she can see the true person in me. My mother raised me since I was 12, then she passed away, and then my father passed away two years later. Wow. Yeah. So was that, that really hard for you? Oh, it used to be extremely tough, but yeah. you never get over it, but it made me stronger, mm -hmm. you know? And that's the reason why I went to school, and I just tried so hard, and I'm never going to stop, because, you know, at that's the end of the good. day, you have to be there for yourself. You have to hold mm -hmm. your own, you know? Your mom would be so proud of you. Thank you. Aww. So proud. You know she would. And your father. I like you say you don't like the drama, huh? <laughs> I don't like drama. I yeah. avoid it so much. I think the parents really liked me. The first impression, I think that Claudia would be the best mother-in-law. I would call her with every question I had. Oh my God, all the time. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> hey, you guys, you guys, how's your conversation? Your mom is wonderful <laughs> and your dad. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna have Polka sit with you guys. My strategy from here on now is to show real parents that I'm very spiritual. Hopefully they'll see that and they'll see that I'm better now, that I found God. First of all, I want to say it's been a pleasure meeting you both. You guys Thank are you. very, very good people. Do you and Ahmad ever, um, do you ever talk uh, about the Bible? Yes. Did, oh, you do? We do. I pray every day and I pray like two, three, four times a day. I, I go to church and on Sundays and Bible study on Thursdays with my mom. Now that I have God in my life, it's just so much better. I feel great. I felt as though we connected on a emotional, spiritual level. I'm like on it. <sighs> he and I have this connection. I feel like we both understand each other. We are so much alike. It's crazy. He's spiritual and he's into fashion. That's what I, that's basically my profession. You know, and he's just, everything that he's about, his heart, his soul, he's just a very good man. A very, very good man. I have to agree with you on that. Okay, let me ask you this. If he chose Sassy, mm -hmm. do you think that she would stay with him? Sassy's a wonderful woman. I just didn't, I don't see the spark. I feel as though she's a little much at times and just, you know, she needs to humble herself, I feel. I feel as though Sassy should humble herself because she really makes people feel as though they are less of a person than she is. It's just not right. I want to talk to Sassy. Can I need give to... you a hug? Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> It's my turn to go and talk with Real's parents, and I'm really excited to get the last word in. You seem really, really sweet, but you. were you always that way? I did grow up, and kind of hard. We lived on Section 8, and yeah. we got government cheese. <laughs> now, that didn't make you bitter? No, I felt independent. I thought I was grown, and I went and I got my GED, and I went to real estate school, I started my own business. But you've changed, though. I have. It's hard times. Mm -hmm. and, but you know what that makes you? A stronger woman. You got your own business now. You know, and if you didn't go through those trials and tribulations, you might not be the strong woman that you are now.
I think she's starting to see that there's much more to me than she thought. So why do you think you would be the better woman? Or do you, or do you think that you would be better than the other two? As far as Pocahontas, I just feel like an insincerity. She's too perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, and she's trying to hide something else. Cause Have you tried to get it out of her? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. You haven't found it. No, and I feel I almost not. It almost makes me feel bad because I'm looking for this mm -hmm. negative in yes, this person. Right. And it's like maybe she could just mm -hmm. really be a really sweet, mm -hmm. nice, mm -hmm. perfect person. Mm -hmm. It's just really unusual. Well, I have never found one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me neither. Yeah. As far as Pocahontas, I feel she's hiding something and that she's really insincere. And Real's mom, I think she sees something there too. Did y'all ladies have a great time with my parents today? Mm -hmm. Mom, did you uh, learn anything? Did you enjoy yeah, you their what? presence oh and did you God, Marty, learn anything from them? These are some good girls. But you know what? It's harder now. I mean, this, this is a tough group of ladies. Overall, I had a very good date. And I feel like mom and dad got some very, very good, insightful information about my ladies. I just want to say, mom, dad, thank you for being here. And yeah. I have really enjoyed it. If you're going to give hugs and love, let's do it now. Absolutely. It's crazy first, I feel it. At this point, my feelings for Sassy have really gone down the drain. She's just causing turmoil, and she needs to bounce. Coming up. I will not be very mature. How? No, you're a brat. I didn't even do anything to this You can work on this house saying whatever you want. You're not intimidating me. You are a baker to me. And later. Any parental advice? We need to talk to mom and dad before we start eliminating. She's very emotional, but she really is in love with you. I know. Today, we're going to have a, another date with mom, dad, and Chance. And I'm nervous. Ladies, you ladies ready? Yeah. yeah. I feel as though I need to prove to Claudia I can be a good wife, a good woman, a good girlfriend. I hope that they see that. Today, I'm taking hot wings, Mama Sita, and Baker to cooking school with my mom and dad. Basically, I got a pro chef on deck that's going to teach me and my family and my girls a whole new recipe. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm from Downtown Cooking. And today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a meal. I am super nervous right now because I am not a chef. And I just hope I don't make a fool out of myself today. But, you know, I'm willing to learn, so bring it. Am I doing okay with the Yeah, contract? you're great. OK. Yeah. All right, whoa. I'm going to take my fingernail off. OK, can I dump this in first? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want to step it up some more and show them, like, I can probably make a good housewife. Hey, Mom, Dad, why don't you guys go chill with Hot Wings a little bit and get to know each other? It's really important that my mom and dad get some alone time with these girls so they can continue filling them out. So in the meantime, I'm going to be cooking, going outside, checking on the grill, doing my thing. Right. Keeping the whole situation smooth and relaxed. Why do you think that you would be the better woman for Chance? I just think he needs the type of woman who isn't always so explosive mm -hmm. like him. Mm -hmm. I think he needs someone to level him out because he knows I will put him in his place That's if I good. need to. Now, what about Mamacita? She's just fun, but I've never seen a romantic connection. What do you think about Baker? I think they're so much alike. I think they would do this a lot. Mm -hmm. I'd say that Baker is too much like Chance because sometimes they both get emotional, have like these emotional roller coasters where they're just all over the place. And I can just see them in a relationship and butting heads, and it just won't be good. I brought old Baker over here to tell her Baker war story. OK. If there's one thing that I hope that the parents can realize about me is I'm willing to give Chance my heart. And I have a lot of qualities that the other girls don't have. I've never seen them cook in the kitchen. Why do you think that you would be the better person for Chance? I'm 24 years old. I've been through a lot in life. When it comes to the other girls, like Mama Cena, she has to learn when to turn the craziness off. and. I don't think that she can do that. With Hot Wings, she's very immature. Things don't go her way, she pouts. Does she's she? ready to leave, yes she does. And even when she like cuss them out, you know, you're whack, you're lame. You obviously don't know me, I don't know who the f I came from, you don't know who you talking to. Yeah, you sound whack. No, you whack. You look hey. whack, you sound whack. Out of here. So I was like, whoa. She said that too. Yes, where did that come from? My mom, we're all looking like, if you feel that way, why are you here? 
Chance doesn't need an immature woman. Howlings is not going to be able to handle Chance this obvious when she blew up on him and said he's lame. She just want to continue to blow up on him if he picks her or if she stays around. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God, that's a big ass shot. I had a couple of shots outside after I talked with the parents, and I'm feeling pretty nice. Can I have another little shot? I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to sit here. I'm going to have a couple drinks and enjoy my time. And I realize that I'm a little drunk right now. We have now Mama C. Yes, Claudia. Thank you. I hope that Claudia Roberts see I'm not that wild, crazy bitch people think I, I am. Do you like to cook? I don't know how. But I'm willing to learn. I am. I'm willing to. Like, this is my philosophy in my life right now. Anymore. If I truly had, like, a kid or a husband to cook for, like, yeah, I would be watching, like, Martha Stewart. Oh. I hope that Claudia Roberts see the feelings I have for their son today. I hope that they can, like, really see through my soul and that, I, that I'm actually here for him. What about to eat? Yeah. Yeah, she did. I saw okay. we, I saw we, I saw we. <laughs> wow. Howings irritates the fuck out of me. She's like all on chance, kissing on him, and it just looks desperate and like she needs attention. You have such a mighty man at heart. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Ladies, for your you can set the right table and get the food right. So we're gonna sit down and start eating, man, and it seems like everybody's on their best behavior. Everybody's getting along great with my parents. Maybe it's the drinks. It was very good. Baker, you don't like it, huh? Baker shut down right now. No, it's, it was no disrespect to your mom. It's just that. What? What? I'm trying to eat some lunch, brunch, slash dinner with mom and dad, and Baker goes into some dark, trippy mood, dude. I'm like, what's up with you? Baker. You OK down there? I'm a little irritated, but you know, Bob? I'm over it. Oh, you are? Yeah. What are you irritated about, honey? You know, I've spoken to Hollywood before about when she's drunk, she can be annoying. I'm not drunk right now, so I'm not laughing. I'm not having fun. I'm serious right now. Can I say something? Please. Even though I'm drunk right now, I'm going to say it again. You said even though you're drunk? I had three shots, but you wait, see wait, how wait. I am. You know what I mean? I still know how to act, the, like, how to be myself. I'm still not going to cause problems. We're supposed to be here, enjoy our time with Chance and getting to know his parents. And Baker jumps on me, and I didn't even do anything to this I'm like, what the I never disrespect you, so you as a person should never have to come at me like I'm the person who did you wrong. Jesus, please take the wheel. This is what I'm saying, you see how I'm getting that? It's like I can't talk to you nobody as a woman because I'm trying to say to you. But you said it 10 times, you. I'm tired of hearing it. I, I, don't it. it. I don't care if you're not tired of hearing it. I, I heard, heard it. I'm gonna it to you. I because heard obviously it. Because obviously you're like, Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Hot Wings and Baker tripping. They arguing at the table in front of my mom and dad. Are these girls crazy, man? Yeah, they are. Man, she showed some poor judgment in front of my mom and dad at dinner. My mom and dad didn't want to see me with a hot head drunk. I don't care. Lord, I do not, not care. I do not care. You do not intimidate me. You go around this house saying whatever you want to other people, you do not when intimidate me. Man, how long is it so whack? This was the worst date ever. You are Baker to me. Oh, All right, right ladies, ladies. Coming up. Is poker too good to be true? Is there anything that your reflex is going to come back and bite you in your ass? Yeah. And later. You gotta think about what's best for you. Like, what do you actually look for in a woman? You gotta think about what wifey standards are. As long as wifey's not immature and out of control. That way, you're not immature. You go around this house saying whatever you want to other people, you're not but intimidating me. You are Baker to me. Oh, and she's me. All right, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> look. Oh, man, my mom and dad can't take all this heat, all right? I'm trying not to look at Chance's parents right now because I'm just scared at how they may react towards me and how I'm acting right now. But I'm just trying to defend myself against Baker. I don't want them to go through this right now. They, 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 they're not here for all this fighting. Man, it looks like Howard's had too much to drink. Baker's moody as hell. Having an attitude in front of my mom and dad like that is not cool. You know what? We might have to roll. Overall, this date went, was a mess. It was a disaster. But at this point, I don't know who I want to get rid of. But ultimately, man, 
I have to make a decision, and so do you too. Yeah. So do you. Your boys need some help. We need to talk to mom and dad before we start eliminating. Do you have any parental advice for your boys? Well, it seems to me that you may have a thing for Pocahontas. Indeed. That don't mean she's safe. Oh, that's true. And she's very spiritual. And that's how you guys really hooked up. I think her. she really likes you. Yes, but I, sometimes I wonder if there's is something that Pocahontas is holding back. Now, Sassy's a real big question. Is she here for you? Is she? I mean, I think she's here for me. She's been shedding tears from day one for your boy. Mm. Dawn, yeah. if you didn't keep her, she would truly be hurt. She's very emotional. But that girl, the more I'm around her, talk to her, she really is in love with you. Mom and Dad got some very, very good, insightful information about my ladies. But at the same time, I feel really, really confused because I don't know what to do, and I got some questions that need to be answered. Well, what about his Chita Ois? I'm going to just start where I think I should start, and that's with Baker. She's had some unhappy relationships. But you know what it is really about Baker? She's very honest. She doesn't care if you like it or not. She's going to tell you exactly how she feels, and I like that about her. I like that about her, too. Yeah. What do you think about hot wings? She's cute, but she has to mature a lot more. She's l really lacking that, really. Well, let's jump on Mama Sita. I like Mama Sita. You would always just have fun with her, just be laughing and acting crazy, because she, she's she got a little bit of that in her, too. You know what? You guys, thanks for the help. You ready to do this? Oh, no, I'm not, but I have to. You know, it feels so good that my mom and dad help us choose which lady would be best for us. We really have to find out what's going on with these girls, because tonight is elimination, and we do not want to send home the wrong ladies. How's everything? I'm good. I had to come out here and cool off. <sighs> so I'm laying outside, and I'm already in a bad mood. And Chance walks up. I don't want to be bothered, period, by anybody. Are you all right? You're so quiet. Your whole vibe just been shot this whole evening. I just feel as though I'm being tested like I'm a little bitty-ass kid, and I'm not. Who's testing you to make you feel like that? Obviously, the child in the house getting up in my face like that. <laughs> and, you know, it's the last days. I just don't, you know, I let it slide for so long. I'm just, I'm irritated. I'm tired of it. Come here. Come on. Come close. I'm close. I think Chance is being sincere when he's trying to cheer me up, but at the same time, for him to ignore me today and let me get the rap instead of sticking up for me, you know, that really sucked. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. I really hope Baker comes around, man. I tried. A brother tried. But you know what? Maybe, maybe Baker just needs some time to herself to come around. I don't know, man, but I'm sure gonna give it to her. Look at that sunset, because it's going down. Everything's going down tonight. Hi, handsome. My parents say with poker, she might be a little too good to be true because they can't find anything on her. You know, but it's like, I need to dig in a little deep, man, because I'm starting to wonder, is poker too good to be true? When you talk to me, you can be as open as you want with me. I ain't here to judge you. I'm not here to do nothing. Trust me, man. And it's like, I just want to know, like, is there anything that you've done in the past that your reflex is going to come back and bite you in your ass? Yeah. Do you want to share that or no? Um, well, when I was younger in high school, I was dating this guy, and then um, he left for college, and I ended up dating his best friend. But he was dating my friend. And yeah, I had a threesome. What question was that? It's just a question. It happens, dude. That's not me. I pinky swear. You know, I want to trust Polka, but it's hard for me to really, really trust her with my all like that because I feel like she's not telling me everything, and I feel like when she does tell me a story, she's telling me half the story of just what she wants me to hear. One second, okay? I'll be right with you. I'll see you a little later, okay? I finished up my conversation with Real, and I, I really just praying that he does understand and trust what I'm saying. Crazy day today. Talk to your boy. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like there's something insincere about Pocahontas, and I feel like I'm the only person that kind of sees it. What are you sure that she's hiding? I don't know. 
come out here to talk about polka dots. I know you didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't. Get married. I definitely feel like this one-on-one -on -one time with him is gonna make up for all the missed connections. How do you feel about me? You think I'm high maintenance? You might be. Sometimes you just gotta chill. You don't need all this, you don't need all this, and you don't need all that. I would still like to see the real eyes. Real is constantly saying that I'm high maintenance and I need to let my hair down, and it's not true. God, that's why I couldn't do this. It's out. Don't do it. <laughs> Let me see. Man, you have beautiful eyes. What are you doing wearing con green contacts? Thank you. You're welcome. See, one thing I wanted to see was Sassy Man was those real eyes. She was hiding behind those real eyes with those contacts. And she showed them to me, and I'm so glad she did because I saw her real beauty with that. I need to talk to Chance because I don't know if I necessarily blew it at lunch today, but I'm still a little nervous that it might be me going home. And I'm definitely not ready to go home. Talk to me. I mean, you know me, you saw my attitude, you saw me go off and I had to go, I just went off again. I just wanted to apologize and I went. For acting a fool. You know, I like hot wings, man, but today she was a little immature. All that little immature stuff kind of makes me nervous, man, because I am hanging out with little kids, hot wings. Oh, this elimination has got my mind rocking. You got to think about what's best for you. Like, what do you actually look for in a woman? You know what you're looking for? <sighs> this is going to be wifey, so you got to think about what wifey standards are. As long as wifey's not immature and out of control. People around this house try to say I'm immature. It may be an issue. He may see the fact that I'm young as a problem, but if I'm gonna be in love with you and I love you, like, why does my age have to play a part in that? <laughs> Man, uh, tonight elimination is just not gonna be easy. Man, my stomach hurt, my head hurts, oh, I got oh, a I headache, got a migraine. I can't even think. Man, I can't even eat. I don't know what to do right now. Oh. I just don't know what to do. Coming up. Baker, you were fighting so hard, Nick. You know, you turn on me, you got pecs here and there. Hot wings, look. I actually thought you might have been the one. If you're in love, that's all that should matter. How old I am shouldn't matter. If I go home, I will be extremely shocked because I definitely had a great connection with his family, with his mother and his father. Anybody's parents has to ask difficult questions that are gonna get difficult answers, but I think that they can tell who's truthful and who's not. You just never know. Oh, hey, ladies. If I went home, I think I'd be upset. If he does not send Baker home, that's him playing himself. No one needs a woman like that. You're trashy, you have no class. Who wants a woman running around showing their flabby ass everywhere? If he sends me home over that, that's him playing himself. We started off with 20. Now it's only six left. I ain't never connected with women like this this fast in my life. And I know he can vouch to say the same thing for you three ladies. True, true, no, I can. But you know what? We need to change the scenery so we can see who's really here for us, you know what I mean? Because this, I'm not feeling this no more. So you know, tomorrow morning, I think we're gonna fly to South Beach, Miami so we can do a big. <laughs> oh my God. I ain't gonna lie, man. We are damn excited to head to Miami. But there's only one little problem. We only got tickets for our four final ladies. Which means we'll each be saying goodbye to one of our ladies tonight. You know, we only have six girls left. And after tonight's elimination, y'all, it's only gonna be four. This shame goes to a, a girl that me and my parents really dig. You know, we, we like her a lot. But I need her to prove to me that she's more than just a party. I need to know she's about love, me, and a real future together. So Mama Sita, don't look startled. I know, I'm trying not to. As I'm walking towards Chance, I'm so in shock. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm one of the last girls. I, I, I still can't believe it. You want to take a chance and keep it real with your boy? Of course. That's what I'm here for. Right. <laughs> Thank you, puppy. 
Mr. Baker. Today, at lunch day, man, I tripped out, man. I don't know where the attitude came from, but you were a little, you were a little upset about something. You're hot, you're cold, you're hot, you're cold. And I'd be like, man, I don't understand. What made you get with the fight? You were fighting so hard, and you know, you turn on me, you got pecs here and there. I, I picked it up off your body like You don't think you deserve true love or something? Hell yeah, I deserve true love. I've been through enough. I'm 24, and I'm not going to backtrack. It's three of the top left, and we're all offering something different. I can be wild, crazy, serious, but I'm genuine. Like, I really have feelings for Chance. And I just feel as though that I'm the one. I don't know why, I just do. Hot Wings, my mom and dad, they worry about your level of maturity and your, your age and stuff like that. At first, I didn't agree with them and stuff like that until I, until I saw you lose your cool at lunch today. That made me think, man, maybe she's a little too young for me. I'm just an emotional wreck right now. And I feel like I came so far, I cannot go home now. Like, it would just be wrong. I don't want to go home. I'm scared to death. Like, my kneecaps are shaking. I'm so scared. Why are you so upset? I feel like my age has nothing to do with anything. If I want to be with someone, I love someone. At the end of the day, that's all that matters, not how old I am. You have people 10, 20 years older than people, but they're in love and they make it work. And I feel like, if you're in love, that's all that should matter. How old I am shouldn't matter. You know what, Baker? This is the exact passion I, I want to see in a woman. Like this. Hot wings. Come get your chain, babe. <laughs> you take a tap, get your gloves on. When Baker is eliminated, I realize, like, I'm still here, like I still have a shot with Chance and I'm so close now. You know what, Baker, I was, I was really feeling you, babe. But you just gave up the fight somewhere. I just started noticing some things that I really felt like, you know what, Baker not ready for this. You know, Baker, somewhere along the way you just gave up on me, man. I don't know, you let the other girls get to your mind, Baker. And that's why you leave. That's some love. Obviously, Chance is still a big kid, and he has a lot of growing up to do at the end of the day. <laughs> Everybody is here for their own personal gain, and I was actually here for him. So I'm just over the whole situation as of now. I got three beautiful women up there, but I only got, I only have two chains. Right now, my emotions are just building up and they're about to burst out of me. I know I'm going home because I haven't been able to give him any real information on Pocahontas to try to deter, you know, this strong connection that I know they have. I don't know what to feel right now. I didn't connect with all of you on all different levels, from Polka to Sassy to Doll, all different levels. But I do know where one of my chains is going. not easy at all for me, man. But I only have two chains. It's down to Sassy, Doll, and I. I feel as though I'm the only girl for real. But, you know, it's time for real to eliminate someone. I do know where one of my chains is going. This woman is very sweet, very funny. And uh, my parents adore the hell out of you. And you know what? So the hell do I. So this chain goes you, doll. Braille gives me the first chain, and I'm so excited. Like, I won an award. I mean, I just felt like I was glowing. Oh, probably one of the best days. Will you come to Miami and keep it real with your boy? 100%. I have nothing but good things to say. So it's down to Sassy and Polka, and I'm so sure. I'm about 100% sure that Sassy's going to be going home tonight. <sighs> Damn. One chain left. Polka. You know I'm definitely feeling you. And me and you have connected on many different levels. But for some reason, I don't, I don't know, man, maybe it's me, but I just feel like you're holding back something. And it's like, I'm trying to find out what that one, that something is. I know you told me some things today, but I'm, I'm wondering if it's, if it's more than that. I would be devastated if I was eliminated tonight. I'm just hoping that, that our connection really just is going to be stronger and really pull us through this. Sassy, when it comes down to it, 
I, I'm not too sure if me and you have had the same kind of connection that I've had with Polka and Doll. You humbled up, man, and, 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 and you let your hair down. And you even took your contacts out earlier when I asked you to, because I wanted to see real eyes. And I, I feel like you have been showing me the real you. But I know you are a bit high maintenance. I mean, I sometimes wonder if you need too much from me. What if I don't have it to give? Real standing there, and he's going back and forth between me and Polka. I just start breaking down. I mean, it is too much pressure, and I feel in my heart that he's going to send me home. Man, this is hell, because I got feelings for both of you. And I think both of you are good women, man. But I, I, I do have questions in my own mind about both of you women. And I just feel like the only way for me to get my answers, man, is for me to take all three of you to Miami with me. What? Yeah. When Real told Sassy and Polka that they're both going, I was so pissed, my heart dropped. Like, it's an obvious choice. Like, you know, eliminate the one you don't want to be with. What's going to be the difference now? I still have to compete with these two girls? Like, it's only supposed to be two. I'll be keeping this chain, because I don't need to give it out, so we can all get to packing and head to Miami. Are y'all ready to go to Miami, man? <laughs> yeah! So I'm taking all three of my girls, Sassy, Polka, and Doll, and we flying up out of here, and we headed to Miami! Miami! All right, man, let's roll out of here. Regardless of everything Real has been saying about me being high maintenance, I'm here. I'm in the top three right now, and so that means that he sees something, that he really likes me, and I'm not gonna let this go. Next time on Real Chance of Love. Ladies, ladies, welcome to Miami! Now I'm in the final two? Are you kidding me? Is that a snake? What is uh, that? You're emotional, but that's good, because guess what I am? I don't think you should ever be scared of the person mm. you love. I feel a spiritual connection with you. I feel the same way. I really don't know that much about y'all, so I asked the producers for your audition tapes. I want to see how the girls were before they came to the show. Let's see if you're too good to be true. <laughs> what did I say? What did I put down? When Real sees this video, there's going to be a problem. That concerns me a little bit. Now my stomach is in knots. Boy, you have no idea what's going on in my mind right now. It's time for us to pick our girl, and this is not going to be easy. I have a strong connection with the two of you ladies. The connection is so strong, it's making my stomach hurt right now. Movie when it's like a crows. bunch of crows attacking yeah, people. Yeah, crows. How the movie the crow, right? Birds. That crow is <laughs> right there. Look. I know. Oh, where? It's eating something. It's right there. Where? Right where my like. Oh, oh, it is eating something. Cause we don't get to eat. Like That's like, like a lizard or something. or something. I hope it's not a lizard. Where the hell are y'all looking at? Do not eat Herman, and you crow. Oh, you okay. look. He's like you guys. Look at that thing. That thing pecked you. You would die. <laughs>